Hi friends, I'm Sherry Rita from Wilmette Public Library and I'm here today to share a story with you that comes with a warning. The warning is, beware strangers bearing gifts. Now that's the lesson Odysseus taught us in a story that begins with a guy named Paris and ends with a gigantic wooden horse. It's the story of the Trojan horse. Paris was a guy who lived in Troy more than 3,000 years ago. This was back in the Bronze Age when farming and metal tools and weapons and writing were all brand new inventions. Paris had a charmed life and a cursed life. His mom and dad were Trojan royalty. That seems good, but they sent him away to be killed. Not so great. He survived and grew up to be strong and beautiful, which seems good. And the gods and goddesses of Olympus chose him to judge a contest between three goddesses, Hera, Aphrodite, and Athena, all of whom had tempers. So that turned out to be deadly. Now, all three goddesses offered him some of their divine gifts. Hera promised him power. She was the head god with Zeus, so she could offer him power. Athena offered him wisdom and skill. Aphrodite offered him the love of the most beautiful woman in the world. Her name was Helen. Paris chose Helen. Only Aphrodite had kind of completely accidentally forgotten to tell him that Helen was already married to King Menelaus. So what did Paris do? Did he raise talks with Menelaus? No. Did he change his mind and choose a different gift or a different love? No. He raided Menelaus's house. Some people say he kidnapped Helen. Other people say Helen fell in love with him then and there. However it happened though, he ran off with Helen to Troy and King Menelaus started a whole new war to get him back. Now, Paris was not much of a fighter. He tried to end the war by just dueling Menelaus, but he lost. And then battle ensued and he got a lot of his friends killed. He eventually got himself killed, but even then the war dragged on. Neither the Greeks nor the Trojans could finally win. And then, after 10 years of fierce battles and horrible suffering and bloodshed, the Greeks came up with a plan using brains as well as brawn. The whole thing was Odysseus's idea. So first, they made a gigantic wooden horse big enough that a whole fighting force of men could fit inside it. Maybe 30, maybe 50 people could fit inside and hide. They engraved the horse so that it said, for their return home, the Greeks dedicate this offering to Athena. That made it seem as though the Greeks were planning on leaving. Next, they waited until dark. They wheeled the horse to stand there in splendor just outside the city walls. You know, cities back then had walls around them to keep them safe from invaders. Well, we'll see how that worked out. But then this is the brilliant part of the Greek plan. They pretended to give up. They went back to their camp and the shore, and they burnt all the tents there on shore. And then they boarded the ships, and they pretended to sail away. Though they really just sailed a little out of sight. One Greek soldier stayed behind. He pretended he was abandoned and bitter. He told the Trojans that the horse held blessings from Athena and that the Greeks had hoped that the blessings would see them safely home. Well, the Trojans got pretty excited about this horse. They made a plan to open the gates to the city and take all the blessings for themselves. The Trojan high priest was against it. I think it's some kind of a trick, he said. 
Helen was against it. There's something wrong with that horse, she said. Paris's sister, Cassandra, warned against it too, but nobody ever listened to Cassandra. The, the Greeks ignored all those smart people and they opened up the city gates and within minutes, 30, 40, 50 people, soldiers poured out of the belly of the wooden beast. And with the element of surprise to help them, they fought the Trojans right inside those city walls and they won the Trojan War. That's why many wise people say, beware strangers bearing gifts. Of course, it might be even wiser not to tick them off in the first place. Happy holidays, kids. See you next time.